my van. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick van tour and show you exactly what my rig is and how I set it up. I have a 2018 Ram Promaster on a 2500 chassis. So basically that's not the longest one that they make, but it's the second longest. Um, it's on the, uh, it's 159 inch wheelbase. And I'm just going to give you a quick tour of the van and show you how everything is set up. So I'm just going to start here in the front of the van. This is my driver's seat. I usually sit here, use my laptop, or eat sometimes when I'm driving. Um, it's a good little sturdy desk. The good thing about this version of the Ram Pro Master is that it has about six cup holders up in the front here. There's one here. I keep a lot of junk, hand sanitizer, and charging ports. And down below, there's three, and then there's one in each door, and those are the ones I use the most. Over here is my magnet collection. And that's just some of the magnets I've collected along my travels, the states that I've been to, and the attractions. I've been to um, Las Vegas at least, I don't know, seven or ten times. My parents live in, in Nevada. I've also been to the Grand Canyon, which was a lot of fun. Uh, I took a helicopter ride through the Grand Canyon. So this is the front of the vehicle. Um, I have a couple of things charging up here. My solar solar fan. See, it's a fan. It has a light up here. And uh, it runs on solar power. And I also have charging my power pack. You can see the USB ports here. It has a very bright light in the front and a solar panel on the back. So I use this to charge my devices like my cell phone and camera. So the name of my van is Bob Van Gogh because I'm an artist and I like Bob Ross. So this is my little Bob mascot right here. A little bobblehead. So I make a lot of jewelry as well and these are some of my um, jewelry mala beads. And I have another set hanging up here. I also collect um, patches. So these are just some of the patches that I've collected along my travels. A lot of them speak for themselves. And this is the patch that started it all. I met this guy at the uh, Tiny House Festival in St. Augustine uh, earlier last year. And he gave me his patch. And I've just been collecting them along the way. It's the passenger seat. This is where Dolce usually hangs out. Dolce. Hey. Hi, Dolce. Hi. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> so up front here, I put in these rubber mats. And it's because the Ram Pro Master um, original mats are very soft. Underneath this rubber mat, I put down this plywood board because these mats are super soft. And right here is my gas tank. And underneath that panel is the battery compartment. And it runs along underneath the, past the driver's seat. So I just put this piece of plywood down for support when I step from the front to the back. Behind the driver's seat, I store my uh, windshield cover. It's just pieces of uh, reflectix that I cut to fit the windshield and I just tuck it in it fits perfectly I don't have to um, worry about it falling out at night or anything and directly above the cab 
I have um, a, like a storage compartment. I store some extra pots and pans up here. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there's some pots and pans. And I also store my window covers. So this is a window cover that I made of Reflectix and black felt. And um, I'll take it down and show you. So it, it'll be Reflectix on one side and felt on the other and at night I just put the felt side up against the window and when you look in it just looks like it looks like tinted windows. It's completely dark. And then during the day when it's really hot and I can put the same one on the opposite side with the Reflectix side showing facing outward. And I just store those up here at the top. I also do a lot of cooking in my Instapot, as well as on my induction cooktop. I have a one quart Berkey that fills water, purifies through the filtration system up at the top, into this one quart bottom piece. And then I can just pour that into a water bottle and take it on the go. So it's one of the smaller Berkey's. And it doesn't have a spout at the end, at the bottom. This is what I usually travel like. In my garage, I have uh, a lot of extra stuff. It's a shower, stove for outdoor cooking. I have a seat back there and this is what the rest of my electrical looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but those are my two Battleborn uh, batteries, the 100 amp hours. There's two of those and that is my inverter. That's what the rest of my electrical looks like. <laughs> so everyone has a white fan. Now you can tell which one is mine. this video go ahead and click that thumbs up if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe down below and click on the bell for future notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video talk to you later